During our lesson, we looked at the desktop publishing from a perspective of not having to learn a particular software and repeating laid out steps, but looking into the past to see accomplishments by early apprentices like Johannes Gutenberg and Benjamin Franklin and coming back to the present to use a web application to produce an e-publication. The print process started by Gutenberg in 1440 truly did not change much when Franklin got introduced to the printing in 1722 working with his brother. What was revolutionary then by Gutenberg to print 200 Bibles in four years only set the standards to improve the process to what we can do today, especially with e-publications. Today we can say for certain that our tools for creating publication gives us a greater advantage than our predecessors had. Another look at the past will be done to conclude with doing a then and now comparison of Benjamin Franklin based on his past accomplishments as a printer to speculate on what he would do if he had today's technology. To begin, we need to look at Franklin's accomplishments as a printer and how he could use social bookmarks. Franklin founded the Junto Club, an association of young men with a shared interest in books, ideas, and personal improvement. At its meetings, Junto members addressed questions of philosophical and scientific interest. It was here that Franklin presented his earliest speculations on the nature of electricity. For social bookmarks, I could see Benjamin Franklin using the Digo site as a place for his 12-member Juntu club to meet. Dingo would be perfectly suited for the intent of the club as stated by Benjamin Franklin in his autobiography. With the only word I would replace to make it modern instead of read is post. For copyright and creative commons, Franklin never submitted a patent for any of his inventions and believed that the invention should serve the public interests and new ideas shared for all. The music you hear in the background is from a glass harmonica created by Franklin. He would definitely be a major contributor to the public domain sites like Creative Commons. The precocious 16-year-old who developed his prose style by copying the essays of The Spectator, Britain's leading literary magazine, published 14 of these anonymous pieces under the satiric pen name, Silence Do Good, a chatty, moralizing widow woman. For the many pseudonyms used by Franklin, he would have many blog sites for his Silent Do Good articles, his poor Richard's Almanac with its proverbs and self-created parables, and his other noted works. Ben was truly a single author wanting to keep his readers informed on a variety of subjects from medical advice to the way to wealth. For Wiki it is obvious that Benjamin Franklin's scientific work would be perfect for him and his fellow scientists to collaborate with and for other scientists to use later to help them in their scientific research. Ben's work with electricity is renowned as to how he conducted experiments, notably the kite flying. The principal research finding by Ben Franklin still applies today with the lightning rod. Before Franklin's groundbreaking work in electrical theory during the 1740s, the mysterious forces which could be built up and stored in Leyden jars were used mainly for elaborate parlor tricks. Franklin's experiments, however, took a more sober approach. Electricity, uh, when he was a young man, was a kind of parlor game. Uh, people knew something about Leyden jars, how to, how to store electricity. They knew it gave them shocks. But exactly what it was, how it operated, uh, they did not know. What he did as an experimenter in electricity was to establish the laws 
by which electricity operates, how to store electricity, how to use it. He gave us the, the words that we still use, positive and negative, battery and the, and the like. And, uh, of course, uh, this achievement was the uh, subject, object of, of one of the, the great um, epigrams of, of history. He snatched uh, lightning from the skies and scepters from the hands of tyrants. For podcasts and streamcasts, they would be a very convenient way for Ben to share his inventions with the world. If Ben had our resources available to him, as it was illustrated, I am sure for certain that he would use them as described and would have an RSS subscription to a reader website to stay updated on new postings. I could see him even using my ebook to write his autobiography and using Facebook to stay in touch with family and friends. So in conclusion, how will you use the many resources available to you in getting your message out for the world to see?